What is going on, Low Gang? Did not plan on making a video today, but uh, found some really cool stuff in this Goodwill. Uh, PS4 games, which for me is a first, um, seeing current generation games uh, at a Goodwill. Let me know in the comments section if you guys have seen Xbox One, uh, Switch games, or PS4 games. I don't recall seeing any, so that's a first for me. I also got a couple uh, decent PS1 games uh, at like I think it was 50 cents a piece so I'll hop into the footage right now show you guys uh, the stuff inside the store as always pop that like button guys we hit over 300 likes actually we hit over 500 likes last week let's see if we can hit 300 I know it's a short video again I usually like to let the inventory uh, restock before I go back and do another YouTube video here um, but since the finds were pretty cool today I thought I'd share it with you guys I'll hop in the footage in the store and I'll see you guys in the game room appreciate you guys for watching let's get into it so jumping right into it, you guys can see not only one PS4 game, but a decent little collection dropped off. We can see a bunch of NBA games and a bunch of FIFA games. Obviously not where uh, the value is at, but over here we can see a factory sealed Wolfenstein. Um, I think this game only came out a year ago or so. Pretty new in my opinion. Um, and definitely the cream of the crop. There was also a Star Wars Battlefront over there but unfortunately it was the first one if it was the second one i probably would have grabbed it and we can see some decent blu-rays also brought in uh, including a few factory sealed ones i'm wondering if quite a few of these donations were from a walmart or somewhere because all the factory sealed had a uh, damage we can see a real fishing three here i'm a big sucker for these fishing games um, i know most people would find them really boring but the ones that are kind of realistic uh really really fun and kind of relaxing for me and I don't know if the real fishing series is good. It's not typically I played more of the arcadey ones. And we can see the kind of scant Wii selection here. Just as always, it's always going to be the stupid like fitness, uh, Pilates, yoga, all that nonsense. And Starship Troopers, one of my favorite movies from the 90s. Uh, really good kind of parody on fascism. And here we can see a gigantic uh, War of the Worlds. DVD. I don't know why Walmart did that sometimes with the like super extended boxes. And checking out the CD section, uh, typically looking for PS1 games, but here we can see a Tiger Wood game from uh, 1999. I'm actually surprised that the series went back that long, and it kind of reminds me of how just how old Tiger Woods is that he was already uh, such a superstar back in the late 90s, over 20 years ago. And precariously trying to get this game out of the bottom of the stack. So you guys can see a picture here. I ended up putting the phone down and just putting it on the top to show you guys Need for Speed 3, um, PS1. I didn't know this series. I, I mean, I played it on the PS2 a lot. I don't remember it being on the PS1. But this is why I always check the CD section. And I ended up picking up a bunch of these PS1 games, or I should say only two, for a dollar a piece. So... No brainer, they ring them up as like CDs or media or something, so they don't even know it's video games. And we can see a Scooby Doo Cyber Chase game. Um, again, anything that's not sports, if I'm going to get it for under a buck, especially this generation, PS1, I'm going to pick this up 100% of the time. And you can see the condition is awesome, uh, possibly even buffered from the game store you can see a bunch of weird stickers on it and getting into dj hero 2 this might have some value i, I left it. i didn't even look it up on ebay but uh 20 bucks and when i noticed how big it was i left it on shelves and my first big pickup of the week uh another year another me wasting thousands of dollars on fifa ultimate team although this year if you spend 100 bucks on the ultimate edition they gave you this free funko pop Kylian mbappe I think is absolutely awesome. Uh, I, I told my friends a year from now, nothing from FIFA 21 will be relevant. It'll all be uninstalled and deleted, but I'll still have this Funko Pop at least. So it's cool. I wish games did more of these um, physical items with special releases. And taking a peek at Wolfenstein Young Blood Deluxe Edition. Um, I don't think this game has a ton of value, but I spent $1 on it at Goodwill. They rang it up as a movie. You can see some of the damage here, which leads me to believe Walmart or one of those other stores that sells video games probably donated some kind of busted up stuff uh, just to get tax returns. And again, game doesn't have a lot of value, but at ten bucks, uh, absolute no brainer. Um, or, or sorry, at one dollar, absolute no brainer. I could probably get ten bucks on eBay, maybe even more, uh, due to the fact it's factory sealed. 
in a really nice condition, Need for Speed Hot Pursuit 3. Um, this was a really cool series, I believe was still alive up until a few years ago. I haven't seen anything new from them. And it's kind of cool to see that original Electronics Art logo before they changed it. Um, really let you know how old the game was, but still some impressive uh, blocky graphics. I don't remember how well the physics engine worked in this, but really nice condition. User manual included. All the cases don't have any damage to them as far as I could tell. And then again, it looks like a buffer or something, but uh, a spotless back of the disc. So really good condition. And uh, just as a little bonus here, I'll give you guys a peek at my ultimate team. Uh, one day in. Pretty embarrassing so far, but one day in. And anyway, guys, have a good one. Take care.